Well, welcome to Scone Park on a very lovely Saturday afternoon here for round 13. It is uh, one more game in a Group 21 Bengala competition here. Very, very important game for both teams. Well, for Scone to remain unbeaten and for the Musselbrook Rams, who they host, who have to try and win maybe two games out of their last three uh, at the very least, to try and get th closer to Aberdeen. I think they have Aberdeen on for and against, um, but it is crucial for the Rams to try and uh, get a victory here. The Scone side, very, very quickly, will go through the home side. Riley Pennell at number one, Jackson Smith, Brady Rosa, Caleb Taylor, Blake Johnson make up two, three, four and five. Juna Warden and Jared Wicks, six and seven. Number eight, Scotty McIntyre, nine, Adam Clydesdale, ten, Daniel Sev. Uh, 11, Jared Austin, 12, Sam Fechner, 13, Blakey Andrews, 14, Jack Foley, 15, Robbie Swain, and 17, Dylan Keane. For the Rams, J oh, Jacob Button is number one, Izzy Talagardis is two, Kane Cabillo, three, Nathan Cridland, four, Lockie Payne, five, Hudson Price and Stevie Dengate make up six and seven, the halves, Warren Yates is one front row with Maxi Grishin, number 10, the lock is, uh, sorry, the hooker is Paulie Dengate. Uh, the 11 is Lukey Marco. Uh, 13, Trent Walker. 14, Bailey Wooden. 15, Geordie Mulheron. 16, Gideon Oink. 17, AJ Dengate. And number 18, Big BC himself, Brody Collins. And I welcome, first time this year, Wade McKenzie. How you going, Wado? Yeah, going good, mate. Getting there. Good, good. Just closing your mic down a little bit better, mate. We're not live, so... Uh, We'll do our very best to uh, call this game here today. Uh, you reckon the Rams, that was a good effort last week against Aberdeen, the Rams. Wade, hey, did you watch that? Yeah, I was there, mate, watching. That was very good. Um, still the little things that we had to work on, but um, yeah, we worked on our training and yeah, hope for the boys. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I was very impressed with the way they worked down that left-hand side. Paulie didn't go to dummy half. He's got such a good, obviously a good... Uh, uh, rapport with his brother Stevie at, uh, at halfback, but they worked well there with Lukey Marco hitting the, hitting the gaps. They've also got, um, look, I mean, how many times has Trent Walker touched the ball in a set of six is just ridiculous. Um, but uh, he's got all those boys. Jacob Button chimes in well, but they can find a gap like you wouldn't believe. Um, I, I rate them a chance, uh, yeah, somewhat of a chance today. I, I reckon they'll, they'll push Scone all the way today, Wado. Yeah, I'm hoping so too, mate. Um, just to complete those little one percent areas and keep working together as a team, and hopefully, uh, yeah, I uh, get the two points today. But absolutely, right? Oh, we're not far off kickoff here. I think we're looking for a ball. Graham, Graham is uh, refereeing. I think the touch judges are. Baz Nichols and Harrison Ty. Mighty trifecta this, I'll tell you. The Rams are going to kick off. And they're running towards, let's say, the highway. Here's the kickoff. Deep, as always, from Stevie Dingo. It's hit the uh, crossbar. It's bounced back into the Rams' hands. Ridiculously... Uh, well done to the Rams. Great effort by Stevie Dengate. He goes to dummy half. He gets it straight down there to uh, Trent Walker. And Walker, they're only five metres out, the Rams. Pressure right on the scone side. They didn't see that coming. Paulie Dengate at dummy half. On to Stevie. On to Maxi Grushin, who played exceptionally well last week against Aberdeen. About nine metres out, directly in front of the post. Paulie Dengate, there's an early penalty. Too slow to get up. Great effort. Great start, uh, Wado. Very good start. Lucky with that kick off there. But, How good um, was that? Hopefully he's completely settled. We even got a try, but yeah. Well, they're not going to take the two points, put it that <laughs> way. Here's Paulie. Quick tap. Restart on to Max. Maxi Grishin. Interesting to see. I know they've played him before. 38 to 16 was the last time they played. I think in round eight. Here's uh, Paulie Dengate. That was in favour of Scone. Long ball to brother Stuvey. Short pass to Lukey Marco. Lukey Marco takes three to get him down. Chop tackle by Daniel Ritter there. A couple of metres out. Paulie Dengate, quick pass on to Stevie Dengate, he's over. Oh, they just hung off him, the Scone Thoroughbreds. Long pass out to brother Stevie. I think he stepped a little bit off his left, but they 
They just went to sleep out there, the Scone defence, Wade. Yeah, they did a little bit, but um, still, still got a long game to go. Hopefully these boys keep it up and continue rolling forward. A minute and a half, the Rams have hit the front. This will be 6-0 because Stevie Dengate doesn't miss those um, right in front. <laughs> first try, that is too. I've just been reminded, <laughs> believe it or not, that is the first try in three grades against the Scone Thoroughbreds today. The girls won... Uh, very convincingly um, against the Merry War girls. And uh, the reserve grade finished uh, somewhat 12 minutes earlier. The Mercy Rule was put on the reserve grade side from Scone, so, uh, for Merry War. And, uh, yes, you are right, Elise. They all, I've always found the Scone boys, if you, they're a little, always a little bit vulnerable in the, in the first 10 to 15 minutes. They just, you know, they just... I don't know whether they go to sleep or they just didn't, don't see stuff coming, but Stevie Dengate makes no mistake from that. 6-0 to the Rams after a minute and a half, Wado. Yeah, I'm just going to continue forward and rolling forward, but um, you play this set and... Yeah. That left-hand side, that left-hand side last week, I was very impressed with the way they attacked that left-hand side. They do it at pace. They do the uh, boys run the gaps. They run the holes. They know their roles. Ball goes deep onto Geordie Mull here and gets it onto Maxi Grushin off the kickoff. Runs straight into the waiting arms there of Jared Austin and Daniel Ritter, Blake Andrews. Here's the Rams again, Geordie Mull here. And that was sloppy, and to say the least, what happened there? Warren Yates coughed it up. I don't know if that was a... Decent pass or not, nah, Macca? Not as fine tuned as usually, but we'll see a good day up here now and hopefully um, yeah. get the ball back. 12 metres out, the Rams have coughed it up, so the Scone Thoroughbreds have got the ball. <laughs> see Adam Clydesdale slotting in at the back of the scrum, so he'll get this straight away and give it off to Wixie. Juna Warden's going to feed the scrum, 12 metres out. That he does, straight to Wixie, out the back to uh, Riley Pennell, who's got a hell of a lot of speed. There it goes on to big number four, Caleb Taylor. That was too easy, Wade. It was. Uh, they had numbers straight up. I don't know what was What's going on. What's going on out there? That defence was... Why aren't they talking and getting up in people's faces? It was a simple out-the-back play, and uh, Scone were equal to the task, and they've hit back straight away. We've had four minutes of play. It's six all. Well, sorry, it's six four, and the Scone boys have got a kick to come. Jackson Smith, the winger, he's been deadly all year. He might be the leading try scorer in Group 21. He's been kicking a fair bit of goals, so... Well, I'll he's have... had plenty of practice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, Wade? A, yeah, yeah, so it should be... I reckon I'll back him in here. Good. How have you been, mate? Yeah, getting there, mate. Good I've on been, you. Uh, out, of, out of rehab. Well, I've been around yep. once a week now, but they're pretty happy with me down there, so... It's so good to hear, mate. Keep so on good to hear, yes. Gruy. I, I spoke to Gruy last week. He, t he says if they make the finals, he'll be back playing. Yeah. Oh. Any inside information? No, nah, don't, don't talk to him about that, mate. <laughs> I just let him be. If he comes back, he comes back. Uh, I think I think he'll need a train to stop him from getting back on that park in the uh, in a semi final. At this stage, it'll be a minor semi final at the at the uh, at the uh, at the most. The way Greta and Scone are going, and there's only three games. I don't think mathematically they can make it. But here we go, Jackson Smith, 25 metres out. What is he? About eight in from touch. Strikes it. He, I don't think he likes it. Yes, he does. Jeez, I've fed him. I called that too early. <laughs> Six all here at Scone Park. What do we had? Five and a half minutes of play. A couple of easy tries against both sides. The defence was lacking there badly. I don't think anyone even got a chance to call tipped. Here's the restart from Stevie Dengate. That's going to bobble everywhere. Goes straight onto the legs of... Uh, uh, Juna Warden gets it on to uh, I think that's Jared Austin ball goes down the left hand side to Fechner and Fechner gets it out to his own 20 metres about 15 in from touch good push tackle there by Stevie the Dengate boys penalty What's that for? don't know not getting up but... not getting up quick enough and uh, just laying all over him that's uh, two penalties one each to Scone and Musselbrook there in that respect for the same uh, infringement. He's at least consistent, Graham. He's number four again, Caleb Taylor. Take the cap restart. Gets it to the 40, up over his own 40. 15 metres in from touch. Jared Wicks appealing. 
is uh, Clydesdale. Clydesdale gives a short pass to Scotty McIntyre, and McIntyre still shy of halfway. Around the legs there was Maxi Garishan, short passer in the ruck, but uh, number seven, Jared Wicks, gets the ball, and he's tackled. He's up over halfway. Five metres, in fact. Clydesdale onto McIntyre, and McIntyre runs straight into a wall of defenders. Good tackle around the legs by Maxi Grushin. Over the top was Yates. In the pass to Cl Ritter, out the back to Juna Warden. He's hit hard and a really good tackle. He hit a brick wall there, a la Geordie Mulheron and uh, Hudson Price. Clydesdale at dummy half, out the back to Wixey from 40 out. Bomb goes straight down. Who's under it? Paney. It goes backwards off a scone player. Fechner falls on it. Goes there. It's not six to go. It's the last tackle. It went there and Musselbrook have cleaned it up. That was very sloppy indeed, Wade. Very, it was a little bit sloppy there, mate, but we've got the ball back, so hopefully the boys just complete this set and stay up tune. That's right. Here's the machine. He's Walker, <laughs> five shy of his own 40. 10 in from touch. Dengate at dummy half. On to Lukey Marco. Lukey Marco, a great tackle around the legs by Scotty McIntyre. He gets to the 40. What Scrame calls a oh, penalty sorry. here. It's a good, uh, that's a good relieving penalty for the Musselbrook Rams. Ritter was high shot. At, uh, oh, no. Yeah, high shot. No, again, he was all over him, but I thought he signalled uh, just went a little bit high, Daniel. Here's the, uh, the kick from Stevie Dengate. Makes good ground. Kane Cabillo will have the tap restart right on halfway. Short pass to the machine walker. He gets the ball, bumps off one, which was McIntyre, but they come again and they tackle him. Eight metres in the scone field of play. Dengate, Paulie at dummy half onto Yates, and he charges forward. Good tackle. Round the legs, McIntyre, but he gets up over the 40. Dengate at dummy half again onto Walker. No, face past him onto Hudson Price. He just shy of the 40. Uh, the, sorry, the 30, centre field. Dengate onto Stevie. Long pass, but it was really ordinary, but great pick up from Kane Cabello. He had to block it with his feet, uh, and he makes the 20. Five in from touch. Ball goes to Stevie at the price. Price gets the ball. Dummies goes himself. He's nearly cut in half there. Good tackle there by McIntyre. And Blake Andrews over the top. That's the last down that left-hand side. They love that left-hand side. Bomb goes up from Stevie. Uh, Bardo tried to bat it backwards. He's uh, put it down. It's six to go. They're uh, seven metres out. The Rams, more pressure for the scone side. Walker, dummies, goes himself. He is uh, very, very close. Only a metre shy of the uh, try right. line. Straight under the right. post. Paulie Dengate, long floating pass out to Mulheron. Mulheron gets the ball, steps off his right, gets through one. He's tackled three metres out from the line, 10 in from touch. Dengate at dummy half, long pass out to Maxi Garishan. Maxi Garishan charges at the scone line, three metres shy. Good tackle there around the legs. Who was that again? Jared Austin. Dengate at dummy half. Long pass out to brother Stevie. It went along the ground. He dummies. Jinx off his left. Goes back into the field of play there. Number 16. Good tackle there by uh, the uh, scone boy. Daniel Ritter. Pass out to uh, Paulie Dengate. On to uh, Trent Walker. And Trent Walker tackled. Stood up in the tackle there. No runners. It's the last. Goes down that left-hand side onto Kane Cabello. Can he get over? Rolled over. No, I think they've held him up. Good effort. Geez, they love that left-hand side of the field. The Rams are hitting it very hard. They had. Oh, did they have the numbers out the right way, though? Oh, they were short here before, but the ball didn't find the mark. So, um. <clears throat> he's the uh, the the uh, Scone boys trying to get out of their own uh, red zone. Paulie Dengate is down in the back play. There, he's looking in pain. Might got a chop to the chest in meanwhile. The Scone boys are running it out of their red zone. And uh, who's that? That's big Jared Austin. He's tackled uh, a couple of metres shy of his own 30. About eight in from touch. Ball goes to Blake Andrews. I think that's Blake's first run of the game. And Trent Walker says hello. The two lock Max. forwards. Oh, that's Maxie Grushin. He played for Scone last year, Max. Here's Ritter. Ritter gets to the 40. Unloads to Clydesdale. Clydesdale on to McIntyre. Centre field he goes. Pushes forward. He's still two, three metres shy of halfway. Maxie Grushin's down in the back play uh, injured. Uh, Clydesdale, short pass, takes off from dummy half and gives a short pass to Andrews. They're up over halfway. Eight metres, in fact. Ball goes to Jared Wicks. Plenty of people. Plenty of chases. Who's over there? Jackson Smith charges. Goes backwards. Off uh, with a a contest with uh, Lockie Payne, but what's he said? He said it's knocked on. 
referee says a scone knock on. Six all here, 28 minutes, 28 and a half minutes to go here in this first half. Been a good good first half so far, Wade. Yeah, so far it has. A few boys down injured. Maxi Grusin's got blood coming from his nose or mouth here. Nose, I think. Yeah, and uh, over there, Paney looks like he's... When him and uh, Jackson Smith went up for that ball, Paney looks like he's come down a little bit, Ginger. But I'm telling you, if he needed, he'll run for a brick wall, Lachlan Payne. Here's the restart. Butto gives it on to Paulie out the back to uh, Nathan Cridlin. Thought Crido played well last week too, uh, Wade. He's yeah, playing good footy this year. I'm very impressed with him this year. He's always been a good footy player, but this year he's um, actually, like, I don't know, found a lot of, a lot of momentum in that. So it's been good watching him play. Yeah, he's, he usually backs up for... Uh, soccer for the Musselbrook Eagles, the Musselbrook Heelers for yeah. Rugby Union. Here's the Rams trying to get out of their own half. Walker, just shy of the uh, 40, gets up over that and he's tackled there by Clydesdale and Warden. Gets up and plays at Dengate, out the back to Hudson Price. Hudson Price puts a long flow, uh, flat kick down. Jackson Smith collects it on his own 20, charges at the defensive line. Luke Marco around the legs. Good tackle. Here's the ball again on to Caleb Taylor. And Caleb Taylor, very hard man to put down when he's on the burst. And he's right on halfway round the legs was Paney. And uh, also Yates. Ball goes to Jared Austin, I believe. No, that's not Jared Austin. No, nah, the lock. That's the lock, Blakey Andrews. My apologies. Push back in the tackle. Ritter out the back to Warden. Out the back to uh, Riley Pennell. Plenty of speed, Riley Pennell. Unloads. No, he doesn't. He should have. He was shy there. They're trying to drag him over the sideline, but he takes the tackle. About uh, 28 metres out. Ball goes to Rosa, dummy half, on to number five, Blake Johnson. Unloads in traffic. Gets it out the back to the ground. It goes behind him. And Paulie Dengue picks it up and knocks it on as well. Is that a double knock-on, no, or how's so. he going to root it? I don't think so. No, just one knock-on, and so it's a scone repeat set inside the Rams' 30. Bit sloppy both sides here at the moment, just not finishing their sets as good as they would uh, like to. I think Blake Andrews from Scone was down in the background there, seeking attention. Yeah, I didn't see him back there, but I'm not getting away now. <coughs> Maxi Grushin's grown a leg this year, Wade. Yeah, he's an animal. He's, Fair um, dinkum. Yeah, he's been lining up too in first grade. So well, when he good. was here last year at Scone, he was a, a solid reserve grader, but he's stepped up and taken the next level. That wasn't high. Oh, I don't really like Yeah, that. there was no damage in that. Jared Wicks was taken by uh, Bailey Wooden. Who's off there for Bailey Wooden, mate? Uh, Warren Yates. Warren. Here's Scotty McIntyre. Charges at the Musselbrook defence. Centre field. 15 metres out. Clydesdale at dummy half. He'll pl have plenty of tricks up his sleeve. Short pass to Ritter. Out the back to Wick. Short pass again to Fechner. Help. Always hard to put down. Can he get over? He's sliding over. I think he's got it. Graham uh, Vandergrift. He's put it to the spot. Scone, uh, Scone have scored. There's a bit of a dust up in the background. No one's happy with that. A little bit of push and shove, Wade. I bet you wish you were out there. Oh, I can't fight, mate. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be out the, I'll be on the wing here. <laughs> you'd be out here. You'd be faking an injury out wide. Nothing in that. There's just a little bit of push and shove, shirt grabbing. There's no harm in that. Letting off a bit of steam. The Scone boys have scored. It is 10 points to six. We've had... Uh, 15 minutes of play in this first half. Round 13 clash, Group 21, Bengala Group 21 uh, competition. As I said earlier, Scone will want to remain unbeaten this season. They are a very, very good side. Plenty of depth. The Rams, uh, as I said, they need to win at least two of their last three games to try and put, put some pressure on the Aberdeen Tigers, who are two points in fr front of them going into this round. And they play Greta. Uh, this weekend, tomorrow, while as the Singleton boys down there, they host the Denman Devils this afternoon. And the Denman Devils have been fair income. They've been struggling the last couple of weeks, so it'll be very interesting to see how that clash goes this afternoon down at uh, Pertec Park down there. Jackson Smith will try and convert this. Moves in, strikes it. 
Has he put it across the post? No, straight over. Bad angle we're at here, Matt. <laughs> I can't see much, but... Wado, Musselbrook don't want to go to sleep here, do they? No, we need to be aware and stay alive in the middle on that. Phase. Yeah. They've just they've got to they've got to maintain that sort of urgent urgent uh, defensive pattern that they have. They've got to get up in Scone's faces, try and force a couple of errors because, as we all know, Wade Scone can pile on some points very easily and very very quickly. The high restart from Stevie Dingate goes down the throat of Juno Warden onto McIntyre, and McIntyre comes up over the uh, ten. And he's going to play the ball, twenty in, twenty out from his own line. Plants the ball down there. That could have went either way there. Ball goes out there to, uh, I think that's uh, Blake Johnston. Yeah, Blake Johnston. yeah, 30 out. Clydesdale at dummy half. Short pass on to Blake Andrews. And Andrews unloads again onto Jared Wicks. Out the back to Fechner. Fechner's fine. Caleb Taylor. And uh, gets it back in from Jackson Smith. Geez, that was ordinary. That was an ordinary pass. I think he had to throw it because he was going to get dragged over the sideline there. But Scone cough it up. 40 out from the Rams line. So a, a good turnover there for the Rams. Um, the pressure's off them in defence right now. So just those little ordinary errors here. Little coach killers, aren't they, Wade? A little bit, yeah, mate. But it's Just good. when you see both teams on the defence, on the attack, sorry. Go on, mate. I was going to say. Oh, i just seen. No, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to stay quiet. few boys here. Uh, Wade, it's still a young side, isn't it? Yeah, I'm... For Musselbrook, it is a very young side, but um, Gary's probably is our elder. Um, yeah, he's ancient. Yeah, still goes hard, but Gary's yeah. ancient. The dead gate from the scrum base onto the, onto the the pain, pain train. train. <laughs> the pain train gets shy, a couple of metres shy of halfway. Dengate at dummy half onto Bailey Wooden. He'll run for a brick wall as well, Bailey Wooden. He gets up over halfway, about eight metres in fact. Centre field. Paulie Dengate at dummy half out the back to Geordie Mulherin. Runs into uh, some traffic there. Ah la. And still unknown. He, he bounced out of it. Good effort by Geordie. Dengate at dummy half onto uh, Trent Walker. Walker runs across field. He, Tackle around the legs. Had to be made by Clydesdale. Right in the middle. Quick play the ball. Dengate at dummy half. They fall around. He's got room oh. in front of him. What did he do? Run around his no, own player. Him, I think. Who did he run around, Wade? No, someone pushed him. Really? Yeah. Oh, it What's there? It's a shepherd. Was, yeah. He's calling a shepherd. It was... Okay. I was surprised because Paulie probably looked more surprised than anyone that the gaps opened up for him. So probably gave himself away there. Here's Jackson Smith with the uh, kick for touch off that penalty. So the pressure's off the Scone Thoroughbridge just when the Rams were trying to build some momentum there. Restart there by the Scone uh, players there. About 20 out from their own line. That was... Uh, Brady Rosa with that restart. Ball goes to Jared Austin. Comes straight at uh, Maxi Grushin. Picks him up and drives him back. He un he dropped it in that tackle. Well done to well, Maxi and well uh, Walker. Here's Bailey Wooden at dummy half. On to Cridden, Cridlin and Cridlin. He's about nine metres out from the Rams line. Another quick play the ball. Out to Walker from Dengate. Long pass over to Stevie. Stevie got plenty of room out wide. Inside back to Butto. And Butto's tackled. 15 out directly in front. Left. They've got to go left. No, they're going to come right. They've fooled everyone. Paulie Dengates bounce out of one. Gives a short pass to Button, and he's tackled five metres out from the scone line. Pressure's on Dengate. Gives a short pass uh, to uh, Hudson Price, and he's tackled two metres uh, shy of the post. Dengate at dummy half again. Short pass on to Trent Walker. I Skips out of one, but he goes across <laughs> field. They need to swing it wide. There's yeah. four one-ups. Yeah. Right. Dengate, long pass out to the right-hand side to Price. Another pass to uh, Dengate. Another short pass on to Cridland, but it went to his feet. Did it go forward? But Talagardis has picked it up and scored in the corner. <laughs> Wasn't well executed. It was sloppy, we wasn't it? But it worked out well. 12 points to 10 in favour of the Scone Thoroughbreds. Adam Clydesdale was just asking whether that went forward, but I think it was a fair try from uh, first look at it, Wade. No, oh, I'm not comment, man. I can't see it from up here. I was trying to... <laughs> <laughs> it went to ground, but boys... Yeah, off. well, the pass, the pass went from Dengate to Cridlin, and Cridlin, uh, uh, it went to his feet, so he kicked it forward. So he... And then, uh, then uh, Talagardis picked it up and scored about five in from touch. Just need to complete this out again and hopefully, yeah, get to a kick to it. But, um, so there. Never sitting up here watching Pup. Well, we know the Rams aren't going to lie down. So, Scone, like, as I said, Scone need to continue 
uh, if they want to keep going, because you know Musselbrook, the Rams are not going to go away. It's funny, Wade, when you when you've seen the results all season, you're looking at the Scone uh, Thoroughbred, and at some point you think they're going to skip away, but it's it's all about commitment and what the uh, what the players that are playing against go and how far they want to dig deep and uh, try and put an end to it. Here's Dengate. Kicks it. It goes to the right of the upright. So it's 12 points to 10. And uh, we've got 18 and a half minutes to go here in this first half of the Group 21 Round 13 Bengala Clash. The go forward, and that all that all came about from Maxi Grecian and uh, Walker's Trent, tackle yeah. there. It was incredible. Great uh, front-on tackle. They're not taking a backward step. Oh. Restart. It goes down the back to Geordie Mulheron. Mulheron gets it on to Talagardis, and Talagardis charges straight at the uh, scone line. He doesn't take a backward step either. He gets out to uh, about eight, to, uh, 12 metres out from his own line onto Maxi Grecian, and Grecian's tackled too shy of the 20. By Jared Austin, ball goes to uh, Hudson Price, gets it on to Bailey Wooden, he's tackled. 23 metres out from his own line, 20 in from touch, ball goes over the head of Walker, on to Stevie Dengate, gets it on to Marco, Marco's, Marco's hit front on, but he unloads in it, he gets it on to uh, Stevie Dengate, on to uh, Jacob Button, Button looking left and looking right, he gets 30 out, gives it to Stevie Dengate, has he got the speed, Jackson Smith goes at him, flicks it back inside to the pain train, he's about one, two metres short in the corner. Scone guys, about six of them trying to get back on side. On to Stevie Dengate. Stevie Dengate gives it on to brother Paulie. He takes the tackle. It's the last. What is he? 12 metres out from the Scone line. Ball goes right out to Price. Price, little chip through. There's no fullback at home. He picks it up and scores out of the posts. Oh. The Scone boys all went to sleep. Hudson Price, little chip there, went straight through. No one at home for the Scone Thoroughbreds. And that initial break there was uh, incredible. Jacob Button, he, he, took, he, he took them on and scooted through from about 50 metres out, 40 metres out from his own line. So the Rams have hit the front, 14 points to 12, Kick to come from directly in front for Stevie Dengate. 16 minutes to go here in this uh, first half. Waiter, you looking excited? <laughs> uh, well, we're in front, but hopefully <laughs> the boys continue that way. And yeah, I said it. I said they they would force the issue, and they're not going to go away. I don't know if Scone's. This is probably the first time Scone have uh, been down all season. Is it, would that be a fair comment? Oh. Maybe. I'm getting the nod from Chick. Stevie Dengate moves in right in front. No mistake. 16 points to 12. 15 and a half minutes to go here in this round 13 clash. I see Daniel Sev. Uh, Sieve has gone off. Scotty McIntyre, uh, he's gone on. Daniel Sieve. Scotty McIntyre has come off. So here we go. 16 points to 12. Everyone's in a little bit of shock here. Never mind. Great effort by the Rams. Give them some credit. Here's uh, Maxi Grishin off the restart. Charges into the uh, Scone boys line and he's tackled. 15 metres out. 25 in from touch. Full of running the Rams. Onto the machine walker. He goes straight at the Scone defence. Leading by example. 25 metres out, centre field. He never stops. Hey, he's been going good this year. Seriously, think. never stops. Here's Bailey Wooden. He gets up over the 30. Good set so far from the Rams. Let's Ball go goes on to Walker again. That's his second run this, uh, this uh, set. Tackled around the legs there by uh, Daniel Sieve and over the top uh, Ritter. Out the back to uh, Hudson Price. Hudson Price puts a low, long kick down. Riley Pennell's going to pick it up on his own 20. Gets the ball, goes across field, but great tackle. Kick and chase by Hudson Price. Ball goes there. Paulie Dengate's at first mark, and they're not mucking around. Is that Riley? Uh, no, that's Kay Caleb uh, Blake Johnson. He's oh. dropped it. The pressure's on. They're really working hard, the Rams here, forcing errors from the Scone boys. 
and they're not happy with themselves. They haven't been in this position all season, the Scone Thoroughbreds. Putting the pressure right on them. So the Rams, they're going to have the ball 15 metres out, 18 metres out, I should say, with the scrum. They'll have the feed centre field. They will have options left and right. Paulie Dun Dengate is uh, going to... Uh, Get, slot in there at lock. Hudson Price will feed the scrum. So Dengate will get this ball at some point and f feed it left or right. He does. He comes down that right-hand side onto Butto. Short pass onto Talagardis. They're inside the 10. Dengate at dummy half again onto Maxi Grushin. Grushin gets the ball, charges at the uh, line like all good front rowers. He's three metres out from the scone line. A try here will be biz bizarre in case... Here's Dengate, short pass to Luki Marco. He loves running that hole, but they've snapped him up there. Looking for the quick play, the ball. A little bit of push and shove. Bailey wouldn't at dummy half down that left-hand side. Again, Trent Walker plucks it out of the air. Bad pass, but it gets it to uh, Hudson Price. He boots one. Don't look very enthusiastic, the Scone boys. Still about eight metres out. Two tackles in hand, out the back to Stevie Dengate, on to Button. Button, face pass over there to Nathan Cridley. He's only got to put it down and he scored in the corner. The scone defence just dropping away. Spook to me, Wado. What do you reckon, mate? <laughs> That's just good that we're getting the points on the board right now, but the boys got to keep turning up for each other now and completing sets. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. 20 points to 12. Kick to come. They look a bit shell-shocked in the end goal, the, uh, the Scone Thoroughbreds. What do you reckon Adam Clivesdale and Daniel Ritter are saying now, Wado? I'd just be disciplined and a bit better. And that's all it's about, isn't it? They're coughing up the, they're coughing up the ball too easy and the Rams are putting the pressure on them. And, and I hate to say, but they're led from the front from the Grushin and Walker... Uh, combination and Bailey Wooden on there also has given them that go forward and they are absolutely full bore at the moment, the Musselbrook Rams. Reckon he's going to kick this way. Oh, Metre in from touch, 22 metres out. Strikes it. Jeez, oh, look, it looks good. He's coming around and hit the upright. Bad luck, Stevie. 20 points to 12 here in favour of the Musselbrook Rams. What do we got? 11 minutes of play left. Jackson Smith with the restart. It goes high and deep. Straight down Geordie Mulheron's throat. He gives it back inside to Maxi Grushin. Hasn't taken a back step all day. And he charges into the line again. Good tackle around there by uh, Daniel Suve and Daniel Ritter. Down this short blind, Joel, Jordy Mulheron charges at the defence again. Good tackle again there by Jared Austin and Warden. Ten in from touch. Couple shy of the, th the 30. Bailey Wooden gets the ball. Doesn't look like there's a lot of talk in that uh, Scone defensive line, Wade. Oh, yeah. What's on in there? They've had an intercept. Sam Fechner against the run of play. Who coughed it up, Wade? Maxi threatened to do the tip on, but it was very late into the line. Maxi Grushin tipped it on. Well, that's against the run of play, and that was the last thing the Rams needed. 32 metres out from their own line. I've just wrapped Maxi Grishin up the way he's charged at the defensive line there of the Scone boys, and he's got the ball, tried to tip it on, and Sam Fechner, of all people, was there. And that's the easiest try the big fella will score for Scone all day, all year perhaps. Those little things, those one percenters, just that's it. complete the set up of points. But Incredible, isn't it? Group now and yeah. Get, get the ball back and... Stay up hard. So that'll be... Uh, is that scoreboard right? Yeah, kick to come. Kick to come. 20 points to 18 this will be. I see Robbie Swain on. And um, who's come off for the Scone boys? Uh, the, uh, Big Jared Austin. Jared, yeah. Jared Austin. Robbie Swain's gone on. Maxi Garishan's come off uh, at the moment. Who's going on for him? Big BC. 
Digger One. Digger One. <laughs> Big Digger One. Digger One, BC Collins. Earth moving. That's a free shot, BC, Amy. What do you reckon, Wake? Free ad? <laughs> free ad, yeah. Jackson, Jackson Smith moves in. Kicks it, converts it. 20 points to 18. We have got a great game on our hands right now. Eight and a half minutes to go in this first half. Round 13, Bengala Group 21 clash. Stevie Dengate will line up here with the restart from halfway. Conversion by number two, Jackson Smith. Two points of difference. Marshall Brook leading, 20 points to 18. He's a high kick. Goes down June Warden's throat. Gets it on to uh, Daniel Serv. He gets the ball and he's tackled. Centre field, about 15 out from his own line. Warden at dummy half, out the back there to Blake Andrews, and Blake Andrews runs into a wall of Musselbrook defenders. Bailey Wooden, Walker, Paulie Dengate. Quick play the ball. On to uh, Riley Pennell. Riley Pennell beats one, goes across field before he's grabbed and belted to the ground by Hudson Price and also Talagardis. Is he Talagardis? Bit slow to get up, but he gets up eventually. Ball onto Ritter. Out the back to Jared Wick. Short pass to Fechner. Sam. He gets up over his own 30. He'll be tackled. He unloads high. in traffic. That's what happened last time. They're just coughing that easy pass. Sometimes it's better just to take the tackle and get the boys set. Clydesdale at dummy half. Out the back to uh, Caleb Taylor. Caleb Taylor gets it on to Jackson Smith. He's going to get bundled over the sideline if he's not careful. Right on the halfway line. Caleb Taylor at dummy half. Long pass out the back to Wixie. He puts a midfield bomb up. It's straight down Jacob Button's throat. He won't miss this, but oh, he's good under the ball. He takes it. What's what happened for? there? Someone Take got him. belted. Someone got it was Jared Wicks got belted. 45 out from his own line. So where it landed was uh but I took the ball. 23 metres out from his own line, 20 in from touch. So that is an ordinary penalty. Whoever did that, whoever belted uh, Wixie after he kicked it, here's Clydesdale with a restart. On to uh, Sev. Sev goes forward and he's hitting a really good front on tackle there from Big BC. And who's the other one there? Was uh, Geordie Mulheron. 18 metres out, centre field from the Rams line. On to Ritter. Out the back again to Juno Warden. Warden dummies, goes himself. Hudson Price dragged him down. It had to be made as well. Ball goes there to Swain. Long pass out to Ritter. Ritter in centre field. Charges at the goal post. And he's going to be tackled five out from the Rams line. Options left and right. Clydesdale. Short pass on to Blake Andrews. They were aware of it, but the Rams, they uh, moved up very quickly, that defensive line. Five out again. Clydesdale, dummy half out the back to Wicks. Goes himself, little chip through. Who's going to be there first? Payne, Payne the pain train gets skull-dragged over the sideline, the dead ball line there by Sam Fechner. So it to be a line drop restart to the Rams. We've got just under six minutes to go. It's 20 points to 18 in favour of the visitors, the Musselbrook Rams. They'll take their time getting it out. There's no 30-second rule here, is there, Wade? Oh, I don't know. Not in Group 21. Stevie Dengate will do the line drop restart. He does so. Goes across field. They need to bounce. Oh, goodness me. They got it. It went straight under Caleb Taylor's feet. It was very, uh, okay, uh, very hard <laughs> to catch that one. So, <laughs> lucky with that. But we just need to be disciplined a bit better with those silly mistakes, those penalties. Oh. Goodness me, did they need that or what? The Rams. What's going on here? Don't Wait. I, I can't. <laughs> Not a mind reader. We need the referee uh, tape. What's going on? He's called it. No, he's called them apart. What's happening here? Where's, what's Graham, the referee? What's he going to say here? Amy Foster is the ground manager. Someone, what's happening over there? Interesting discussion. The referee Graham has called both ground managers over. Is there something happening behind the goalpost there, Wado, you reckon? Oh, that's what they're heading to, but... I reckon someone has yelled out some, something to the referee... And he's not happy about it, so he's asked the ground managers to come over here. So the Amy Foster and the Scone ground manager are going over there and 
Probably give someone a spray in the crowd. He's just holding it up at the moment, the referee Graham. Maybe someone in the crowd's had too much red sauce. Too many <laughs> red frogs today. You better stop soon then. Well, what's he going to say? Is he going to go over there and just say, how are you going? Or is he going to be fair income? Oh, I don't know. What's he going to say? What is it? What's going on? Oh, it was a scrum. No, it was a scrum. That... No, they're playing the ball, but I thought it was a scrum. No, it's a play the ball. But the, the ground manager from Scone's gone over there to tune up someone in the crowd and doesn't look that serious if you go by body language. He hasn't said a word. Nevertheless, restart on to BC. Brady Collins, digger one, gets the ball and he charges at the line. Good post contact meters by Big BC. He's on his own 40. Centre field, Dengate a dummy half over the top onto uh, Hudson Price. Hudson Price, they overran everyone there, but Price goes himself. Still three or four metres shy of halfway. Dengate, they come down the right hand side onto Mulheran. Mulheran runs into Ritter and Juna Warden, and they tackled three metres over into the scone side of the field. Dengate again, short pass to Walker. Out the back, no, he fro throws the dummy and he goes himself. Good run for another good 10 metres gain from the machine. Ball goes at the left-hand side to Stevie Dengate. Cut out pass to Kubilo. Kubilo jinks off his favourite left foot and he comes into the defence of Caleb Taylor. That's the last tackle. 23 metres out from the scone line. Here's the ball. Stevie Dengate, high bomb. Who's under it? Riley Pennell. Can he make it? Jumps up and he takes it on the tips of his fingers. 15 metres out, centre field, and before he's sculled around there by uh, Hudson Price, and it's a one-on-one -on -one strip. Ram score here before half-time will be on. Four minutes to go, and there's a penalty. They've compounded it. Offside, he's called. They're all offside. Adam Clysdale asking uh, referee Graham to, uh, what are you doing? They're going to take the two points. Would you have done that? Yeah. Just hopefully he can play the set and not do any sillies and then about by four, but yeah, I would be. That'd be close to half time. Great to see big BC, Digger One. He's got the <laughs> ball and he's he's been he charging the defensive line from the uh, Scone Thoroughbreds there. Well done, big BC. Stevie Dengate here with the uh, Attempt for the penalty can attempt. This will take it to 22 points to 18. We've got three minutes to go on the clock in favour of the Musselbrook Rams here. Slots it straight over. Scone will have a soul-searching uh, discussion at half-time, I'd imagine, Wade. <laughs> yeah, that could be. I think that'll be <coughs> Clausal and Isaac Austin talking, but yeah, big Osto's out today. I, I spoke to him before the game. I don't know. Uh, he's just having a spell. Jackson Smith for the restart for the Thoroughbreds gets the ball down deep. Good one bounce, two bounce. It's sloppy all over the shop, and he's going to be tackled. Jordy Mull here and had to pick up the dregs there after it. Went sideways uh, from Talagardas. Jordy Mulheran picked the ball up in his own in goal and was tackled. But in doing so, I, he may have copped a knock to the head from one of the Scone boys who went in to tackle him. See Bailey Wooden, or is it Hudson Price over there? Hudson, Hudson is uh, waving the, uh, the bench for the Rams to get down there and have a look at what's going on. Johnny Marco's there. So we've got time out again. Just under two minutes here in this match. 22 points to 18 in favour of the Scarn Thoroughbreds. So the Scarn boys will be putting pressure on again. That's, that's twice uh, yeah. in this uh, last five minutes where the game has turned, or the last seven or eight minutes where the game has turned just on one play, you know, a, 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 an intercept and then a one-on-one -on -one strip and now tackled in his own in goal. Stuvie Dengate with the restart. Good drop kick. Goes down, one bounce to Warden. He gets it on to Daniel Sieve and he charges at the defence 
Uh, he is 31 metres out, 21 metres in from touch. Clydesdale at dummy half. Short pass to Ritter. Ritter charges back in behind the ruck. Looks to unload, but he goes forward still and uh, tackled there by BC. And also Paulie Dengate gets up to play it. Digger one's left lying in the ruck. Clydesdale goes across field. He got the back to Wicks, onto Pennell, onto uh, Caleb Taylor. Caleb Taylor beats one, which was like he paid. He's over in the corner. Jeez, he's got some good speed off the mark. Caleb Taylor. Didn't see that coming, Wado. I thought the defence was all over them there, but uh, Caleb pushed off uh, the pain train and uh, went over into the corner. A bit bunched, I reckon, on that edge there, but... Second try for number four, Caleb Taylor. Lost scores up at 22 all. Kick to come. Did you see that chat there, Wado? Uh, Trent Walker there is... When he was walking away there, I think he's had words with someone from the Scone side, but the Scone boys are just all walking back. It'll be half-time by the time this conversion is uh, attempted. Um, but Trent wasn't happy with something that was said there, but he knows all these Scone boys exceptionally well. They're all, uh, they all know each other. 22 all. Can you believe they may as well just started at half-time, Wade? <laughs> if it's uh, 22 all here. As the clock counts down, what do we got? Jack O. Smith, he's going to attempt a conversion 25 metres out. What would he be? A metre in from touch. He'd be looking straight yeah. nearly at the sun. There's a siren for half time in the background. Moves in, strikes it. It's a bit sloppy, but has he got it over? It's a hell of a kick, Macca. That was a good kick. Boys need to be a bit better with our kickoffs and just little disciplined areas and stuff. Yeah, and both, te both teams. We'll, we'll, we'll wind it up here in a second, but both teams will really need to pick up their completions, uh, yeah, judging on the first half. Just too many really cheap turnovers, and nearly every turnover has resulted in a try. But we'll take a break there for the half time. Uh, 24 points to 22 in favour of the home team, Scone. Right to go. Both sides are on the park, coming out on the park for this second half. 24 points to 22 in favour of the home side, Scone. We have a game on our hands. Only a couple of cheap turnovers from both sides uh, have allowed both sides to hit back respectively uh, when they're attacking. Round 13, Bengala Group 21 clash. Second half right now. Restart from Jackson Smith down that corner. That's going to bounce wobbly all over this place, but well held. Probably Hudson Price gives it on to Big BC. Digger one gets the ball and he's shy of uh, the 20 metre, his own 20 metre mark. Bailey wouldn't at dummy half. Gets it on to Talagardis and Talagardis takes a ball. I think that's Hudson Price, is it? Wado? Yeah, yeah that was Hudson Price at dummy half. Gets it on to Bailey Wooden, that man. He runs hard all day. Gets it up over his own 30. Five shy of the 40. Ball. Hudson Price out the back to Button. Button gets the ball and he goes across field. Stops and starts. And he's taken there. Centre field from by Clydesdale. Dengate at dummy half. Out the back to brother Stevie. Long flat kick. Is that inside yeah, 40? They're going to look for a 40-20. And I think he's got it. Well, what's Harrison saying? He's inside the 20. Touch Judge Harrison. So that is a repeat set of six there. Good kick. The Rams pressure on the scone thoroughbreds again. This is a repeat of the first half when they scored after a minute and a half, Wado. Eh? Well, let's hope so. But, yeah, you can do the right things here again. Here's Luke Marco with the restart at the 20. Well, let's say 19 and three quarters. Ball goes forward, and that's a high tackle by... Uh, who's that? Daniel Sieve, no, Bailey Wooden. It was on Bailey Wooden. He got him high, directly in front of the post, 18 metres out. So it's another set to the Rams. Short pass on tap, restart onto Trent Walker. 
He goes inside the scone 10, but he's pushed back. <coughs> Excuse me, options left and right. Dengate on to Price. Price out the back to Stevie Dengate. Jinx around, looks for support. No, he goes himself and he's belted there. Back slam, but he's he's uh, let down easy. Dengate at dummy half. Short pass out the back to uh, Luke Marco and he's gone across field and he's tackled. Five out. Paulie Dengate at dummy half. Comes down this famous left-hand side. Little chip through by uh, to Paul, uh, Stevie Dengate. But it goes all over the place. And it was knocked on by Scone first. And that was Sam Fickner. So the Rams will get a repeat set. Rams have been practicing. I've noticed in the last few weeks, Wade, Rams have been practicing some set plays from this exact position. Let's see what the, they've got up their sleeve here, the Rams. I'll probably just give it the pain train. <laughs> the pain train. 20 in from touch, 10 out. Dengate at the lock. Uh, goes out to Hudson Price, out the back to Jacob Button. Jacob Button dances around. He comes into the waiting arms of Brady Rosa and he's tackled about five out. Right. Price from dummy half. Gets a ball on to uh, Trent Walker. Over the back to Bailey Wooden and Wooden goes centre field. Five out, directly under the posts. Dengate will be out the back to his brother for sure. No short to Trent Walker. That's out to Stevie Dengate. Long pass out to Kane Gubella. Had to pick it up from his ankles. Another ordinary pass to Kane. So he's hit straight away. Didn't really have much of an opportunity to do anything there, Kane. He just held onto it well. Stevie Dengate on to Walker. Walker inside to the digger one. Digger one goes forward. He's inside the 10, eight metres. Dengate at dummy half onto uh, Wooden. Wooden short pass onto Walker. And Walker's tackled there by three scone defenders. It's the last tackle. Right, what have they got here? I reckon Stevie Dengate's going to put a chip through. Here it goes. Goes across field. He does. He's Butto. Kenny, he's read it well, but he goes over the dead ball line. And uh, a restart under the post will be a line dropout. Another set of six to the Rams. Pressure right on the scone boys here. At least they're playing out their sets, Wade. That's what they need to do. Keep pressure on them and hopefully turn that into Something will give, mate, yeah. Riley Pennell is going to do the line drop restart. He's going to uh, put it down deep. It's going to land 40 to 40. That's now terrible. it bounces backwards. Another pass. Oh, that's ordinary. Adam Clisdale picks it up from Skang. Gives it on to June Award and he's tackled. Five shy of halfway. That's the exact bounce that happened against the Scone Thoroughbreds early in the game. Here's uh, Brady Rosa from Dummy Half. Great run. Gets up over the halfway. And in fact, he's about 39 metres out from the Musselbrook line. Clydesdale. Ball goes to Swain. And he's hunted there by a gang of Musselbrook players. He played for Musselbrook last year, Swain. So they let him know about that. Here's Ritter out the back to Wicks. Short pass on to Fechner. Boots one, boots two. Inside to Wixy. He's tackled inside the 10, eight metres out by Stevie Dengate. Quick play the ball. Goes for the Pennell on to Fechner. Short pass on to uh, Caleb Taylor. Is he over? Try. Harrison Ty, he's looking at, yes, he's going to point to the spot. He got belted over the try line. He that. did get belted over the try line by a heap of muscle defenders, and one of them was uh, Trent Walker. Paulie Dengate's there as well, I believe. But he absolutely planted it there with three or four players hanging off him. So well done to Caleb Taylor. Scone hit back to, what do we had? Five and a half minutes into this second half. So that will take it. Two, 28 points to 22 in favour of the home side. <laughs> well, this is against a run of play a little bit there, Wade, eh? because Musselbrook had some four sets down there inside the Scone 20, uh, looking for a try, and uh, they got a couple of repeat sets, like I said, and that that bounce off that dropout, Wade. Yeah, just... Those Ridiculous. I'm not happy with that, but... <laughs> yeah, I'll get to on the full, but... You want to be down there, don't you? Oh, it's hard watching. Itchy feet, mate. Brady, big C, digger one's coming off and uh, Grushin is going on. They need Maxis go forward badly and uh, he'll put a bit of uh, steel into that front line defence, Maxi Grushin. He hasn't shirked his tarks all day so far and he's back on the field. Digger one's off. Is Jackson Smith trying to convert it. 
hits it nicely, but put across the face. So he's missed probably the easiest kick he's had all game so far, Jackson Smith. It's 28 points to 22. We've got six and a half minutes gone in the second half. Round 13, Bengala Group 21 clash. First game of the weekend uh, this afternoon, the uh, Singleton Greyhounds will host the Denman Devils. That is a crucial game for Denman as well. Stevie Dengate with the restart here. I don't know what's going on there at the back there. Trainer, no, we're out the back is Trent Walker. He was really hammered there trying to stop Caleb Taylor from scoring there, Wado. Warren Yates is on the field. Who's off? Geordie come Who, off. Who's that? Geordie come off. Geordie. Mulheron came off. Off the restart, Daniel Ritter gets the ball and he goes forward and he's monstered there by about four defenders. This urgency in the defensive line. Warren Yates is leading by example on that tackle there. He's, uh, the ball again goes on to Riley Pennell. No, that's not Riley Pennell. That's 35 out from his own line. That was uh, Blake Johnston. My apologies to Blake. Five shy of halfway here, the Scone boys. Jared Wicks is going to be tackled. Long play the ball. Blake Andrews goes over halfway and he's hit hard there and a good tackle there. Paulie Dengate, Luke Marco, Bailey Wooden. Still shuffles forward. 40 out from the Rams line. Down this right-hand side onto Wicks. Little chip over the top. They need a bounce, but Butto's there. Will they get it? Oh, no! Jackson Smith got a bounce as Jacob Button was coming in and Jacko Smith pounced on it and raced some 15 metres to score a try under the post for the Scone Thoroughbreds. 32 points to 22. Can I ask what you think of that, Wado? <laughs> two bounces. Oh, yeah. Two bounces from two kicks have allowed Scone to creep out to a 10-point lead here early in the second half. That little chip over the top and... Uh, game by number two, Jackson Smith. Scone extends the lead to 32 to 22. Kick to come. See Scotty McIntyre's coming back on. Scotty McIntyre's go forward in that first half while he was on was very, very good indeed. Jackson Smith, he won't miss this from 10 out. Wait, oh, will he? <laughs> no, he won't. Give me a call. I'm saying quiet. <laughs> I only listen to you when you talk to me. <laughs> oh, now I know. Does that mean you didn't talk to me when I was coaching you as well? You didn't listen when I was coaching as well? Oh, I thought I'd listen best I could. <laughs> Good kick. He converted it, Jacko Smith. 34 points to 22 in favour of the Scone Thoroughbreds. Musselbrook want to be very careful here. They've hit back so far every time Scone have scored. They've hit back. Can they do it again? Just a couple of fluky bounces here and there from both sides have allowed them, each team to score against the runner play, I must say. Here's the restart from uh, Stevie Dengate. Goes across no. field. Is that out on the full? No, no it doesn't. It bounced just shy. What happened there? He's got a cap on it. Caleb now. Taylor. No, was it uh, Brady Rosa? Brady Rosa, he didn't even see it. Don't know what he was looking at, poor old Braids. Anyway, it's a Musselbrook ball. That's the turnover they need. Dengate at dummy half, gets it on to Yates. He goes straight forward into Blake Andrews and Scott McIntyre, 22 metres out from the scone line. Dengate at dummy half again. Out to Bailey Wooden. Wooden charges forward and he gets inside the 20. Dengate at dummy half. Out to Walker on that right-hand side. Short pass on to Maxi Grecian. Partners in crime, Max and Trent. Two metres out. He nearly got all the way. Dengate, roll, long pass out to Price. Another long pass to Dengate. Out the back to Button. Button, they're going across field. They're inside the 10 onto Cubillo. Cubillo pulled down about two metres shy of the uh, scone line. Deng uh, Button at dummy half. Long pass out the back to Stuvie Dengate. On to Warren Yates. Oh, and he's coughed it up cold as a spud straight in the arms of Robbie Swain. Let off for the Scone Thoroughbreds. 20 metres out. Clydesdale at dummy half onto Blake Andrews. And Andrews goes forward. They try on a one-on-one -on -one strip. Paulie Dengate to no avail. He's going to be tackled right on the 30. Short right-hand side here on the uh, Riley Pennell. And Pennell gets it to the 40. Good 10-metre gain in traffic for his belter to the ground. 
by Luke Marco and uh, Paulie Dengate. On to Ritter. Ritter, short pass on to Andrews. They look like they're charging now, the Scone boys. They're up over halfway. 34 to 22, short pass from Clydesdale to Ritter, and he's monstered there by four defenders. They're all over him. Trent Walker and Paulie Dengate crowded him there in defence. On to Wicks, first receiver, puts a long bomb up. It going down. Who's got it? The pain train. Knocked forward by the Scone boys. It goes backwards and picked up by Dengate. Gets it on to Button. He's over the 40. He gets to the halfway. He's tackled and he's dragged over the sideline. No, what's happened? He's called it back there. Is it a double knock on? What's he saying? The touch judge, Harrison Ty, hasn't moved. I think he's given Graham uh, the call that it was a knock. Is he saying it's a knock on to the Musselbrook boys? I don't think it was. I thought it was our boy. Uh, so did I. I thought, uh, I thought the uh, the Scone boys, Jackson Smith, knocked it on in midair because I didn't see Butto or Paney touch the ball. But nevertheless, the break's gone Scone's way. And Jared Wicks will feed this scrum 22 metres out from the Musselbrook line, 20 in from touch. They don't want another try against them. From the lock base is uh, Clydesdale onto Juna Warden, and Juna Warden gets the ball onto Brady Rosa, and Rosa's tackled right on the 20. Warden at dummy half gets it onto McIntyre. It went behind him. That's a shocking turnover there. Needed it. Didn't they? What? The Rams. That's a really poor turnover. The standard Skona setting there. That's uh, Yeah, they won't be happy with that. Musselbrook with the scrum feed now. 20 out from their own line. They needed that, Wado. They definitely did. But it's now completely set and you're back on top. Feed the scrum. Dengate at the scrum base onto Talagardis. He nearly coughed that up, but he juggled and kept possession. 25 out, centre field from his own line. Paulie Dengate at dummy half down that right hand side onto a Bailey Wooden, and Wooden, Wooden gets to his 30. Rams need a really good set here. Dengate at dummy half onto Walker. Cut out pass to Talagardis. He's down that right hand wing. He gets to the 40, gets to the 30, oh, oh. looking for space. He gets and he's tackled. 15 out from the Musselbrook line. They're on the boil here. No. Walker, Walker gets the ball, goes across field, unloads oh. to Maxi Grishin, shuffles through one, shuffles through two. They go high on him, but he pushes them off. And uh, now the Rams are eight metres out from the Scone line. Dengate, they go, go himself on that right hand side onto Nathan Cridland. Squeeze over, he unloads to Talagardis. Gardis in the corner. Great effort from Nathan Cridlin. The Rams have hit back 34 to 26. And we've still got 25 and a half minutes left in this game. Couple of really poor turnovers have seen both sides capitalise, but a nearly length of the field uh, efforts in that in the ensuing set of six. Good effort there, Wado, wasn't it? Well, it was start off with Izzy going down the sideline and then the boys just backing it up and finals up footy there was good. Great run by Izzy Talagardis. He's got some speed too, Wade. He's, <laughs> He's quicker pretty... than you. <laughs> Anyone's quicker than me. <laughs> just hopefully, like I said, you can play this set, get on this ball. It's going to be a bouncy ball. But... Absolutely. Oh. I was just thinking there. I was just thinking there. The only bloke that I reckon I'd like to see a match race is between you and Digger One. I'm faster than Digger One. I just need to get fucking my body right first. Sorry. I said laying out the hospital bed fucking made me body sore. Sorry. <laughs> Reggie will chip you for that. Oh, I did to warn him. I said, <laughs> leave the paper on me. Here's Stevie Dengate with a conversion attempt. It looks good for my liking. It's just waved away across the front, 34 to 26 in favour of the Scone side. Well, a turnover has allowed Musselbrook back into this game. They're not out of it. And I said it earlier, Wade, they will not lie down, will they? No, I hope not. I hope the boys keep going forward and... Um, improving, but they're going all right so far. Still got plenty of game time to go. Absolutely. 24 minutes exactly. Here's Jackson Smith with the restart. It's going to be dodgy bounce, but uh, who picks it? Scott Hudson Price gets it onto Yates, and Yates goes forward, and he's hitting a really good tackle there. 
20 out from his own line, 20 in from touch. Down that right-hand side onto Talagatis, the guy who created all that. They're looking for a big penalty there. It was a little bit high, Stuvie Dengate, to no avail appeals. Ball goes to Grecian. Grecian straight into the scone defence. He pushes off one. Is that Jared Austin back on the field? Couple shy of his own 40. Here's Trent Walker, full of running as always. Shuffles through one, two. Pass out the back to the pain train. He picks it up. He goes backwards, actually, in about inside his own 30. Straightens up, centre field. And he's hitting a really good tackle there by Blake Andrews. And it had to be made. Back to the 40, where they began. Dengate over to brother... Poor uh, Stevie. Little chip over the top. He's going to get a bounce. He does. He gets over the 40. Long pass out the back. Oh, great pick up from Cubello on the 20. He gets there. He's trying to rustle him in. It comes off his foot. Play on for mine. Lucky there. Lucky he there. does. Stevie no, Dengate. Okay, right. Long pass out there to Hudson Price. Another little chip through. That's a knock on. Oh, Should have went right. We had numbers out there. He did. That's somewhat of a let-off for the Scone boys, although the Rams will get a repeat set of six here. He's had a fair game, Kale, uh, Hudson Price, Wado. Yeah, mate, he's been really good this year for us. Great effort. I think every pass today that QB has tried to pick up has been around his ankles. <laughs> hasn't been, there's been challenges for him, buddy. Seriously, it has. Uh, he's them. done well, uh, Kano. And he made good ground, and he did exceptionally well to stay in touch. Ball at the base of the scrum from Dengate onto to uh, Hudson Price. Ball over there to Cridlin. Cridlin has had a good game as well. He's repeated his efforts from last week. He's pushed back about 15 out from the uh, scone line directly in front of the post. Ball goes to Yates. Yates goes forward, and he's belled in a good tackle there by McIntyre and Clydesdale. Left-hand side onto Price. Over there to Scotty uh, Pauly Dengate. Onto Lukey Marco. He's hitting a good three-man tackle. They're inside the 10. Five out, 10 in from touch. Dengate, the pressure on the thoroughbreds. Ball goes to Price. Long pass out to Button. He goes across field. Hands it into Maxi Grishin. Short pass to Walker. Did he lose that in the tackle? Oh, no, he held it. Eight metres out. Dengate at dummy half. Flat pass onto Bailey Wooden. Still two metres out that look forward for mine, that short pass. But nevertheless, here's the last tackle. Dengate, down the left-hand side, brother Stevie, jinx off his left, little grubber kick through, it goes nowhere. It's probably not the option. Fallen on there by Sam Fechner. Ball goes forward onto uh, Bailey Wooden, went in there for a front-on tackle, and I think he's come off worse for wear, poor old Bales. Was that Scotty McIntyre? Unfortunately, Scotty McIntyre was running the ball up, and it was a front-on tackle. And Bailey looked like he uh, went in for that tackle and he's come off straight out of it, unfortunately, for Bales. And that's inside the scone, 10, 8 metres out from their line. He's on his haunches now, on his knees, I should say. Johnny Deacon, one of the best in the business, league safe men, he's there. Johnny Marco, I believe. Two good guys there looking after him. He's back on his feet, Bales. But uh, certainly, certainly not. Uh, no, they're asking him he's going to have to go off. Yeah. The safe thing to do, Wado. Yeah, yeah it is. I he's all right. I'll check on him after the game and that. He's, he's just, right. He's, he's as tough as they come, Bailey he's Wood. He's busted up. He's bleeding from them now. Yeah, he's, he's as bleeding. tough as they come. Gideon Onkers come on, I think, for Bailey Wooden. They're going to have to wait till he gets off the field, boys. So Scotty McIntyre will have the restart. Eight metres out, directly in front of the post. 34 to 26. we just got under 21 minutes to go in this Bengala Group 21 round 13 clash. So number 16, Gideon has gone on the field. He's going to be playing. Uh, he got a lot of work for Gideon to do here. They Here's Clydesdale off the restart onto Sam Fechner. And Sam Fechner charges through and he's tackled there. 15 out from his own line. About 12 in from touch. The two Dengate boys had him. Long play the ball. A crowd appealing. Here's uh, Blake Johnston tackled. 
21 out from his own line onto Blake Andrews. He goes across field and he's there belted right. there. there right. oh, really nice good man. tackle there by Yates and uh, also Dan Gate and Maxi Grushin. Short 10. Jared Wicks with the ball, kicks it from about his own 30, goes down to the pain train. He ta takes it on his own 30, goes forward and he's belted there. Number 17 is on as well. That's Dylan Keane from Scone. He's on. So the pain train is down right on his own 40, about 23 metres in from touch. Bit stop start at the moment. Referee is not... Uh, referee's just having a chat to Stevie Dengate there. May have said something, but... Graham, so so far, Graham is uh, he doesn't put up with much, does he? Nah, it's been, been pretty good. <coughs> Digger one down there is just itching to get back onto the field, Wade. <laughs> I will say this, uh, Wado, the pain train doesn't lie down easily, <laughs> does he? So he must be in a little bit of a discomfort down there, the pain train, because uh, he uh, he doesn't lie down. So, Pony, I hope everything's all right with the little fella. 34 to 26. This game can still go either way. We've still got 20 minutes to go, 19, and, 19 minutes and 55 seconds here in this match at Scone. We said it earlier, that this, is a, this is a huge effort by the Musselbrook Rams considering the Scone boys have, I think they've won their last three games by uh, Mercy Rule Wade. Yeah, I think they have. A couple against Singo, one against Denman last week. So it'll be interesting to see... Uh, I think I think this side, the Musselbrook side, they're full of running. I think they've got the team to really worry the Scone boys. And um, Paulie Dengate's coming to the sideline. I'll just cut in there. Paulie Dengate's coming to the sideline. He's limping. So I don't know who's going on. Brother AJ, perhaps. Mm. Is that AJ number seventeen? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It is. No, he's just come off for a rest. Is he cramping? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> hope so. No, Paulie Dengate's going to stay on. It'll take a train to get him off. Just wonder how... Uh, yeah, Lockie Payne's travelling out there. I know. There's his jaw. I it might be his jaw. Tony Tony Deacon is out there now, and if there's one man that can make a decision on that, it's Tone. Payne does look worse for wear, Wade, doesn't he? A little bit, yeah. Poor I'm guy. Sure. Cop on the knocks in the butt. Yeah, he, uh, he's helped off the field there. He, we, that'll be the last we see of the Payne train there today. I just hope Lockie Payne is okay there. Tony and son John are going to... Uh, help him off the field. Who's going on, Wado? Can we see who's going on? Probably he's going, AJ. AJ Dengate is on. Where will they play him? Put him on the wing here, Wade? Yeah, they will. He's certainly fallen into a tackle there. Just waiting for uh, Lockie to get off the field. And uh, there's no hurry. Is this the first time maybe three brothers have played in the one game, Wade? I can't remember. I'm just trying to rack my brain. I think before when Paulie and Stevie left to Newey, they went. They played a game together. Down there? Uh, no, no, here. It must be before okay. they left. Pretty sure. Here's the Rams restart. We've had one uh, one tackle, but uh, Talagardis gets the ball and he's tackled there. Still on his own side of halfway, a couple of metres. Centre field. Paulie uh, Dengate will have options both left and right. They go down that right-hand side short to Warren Yates, and he's up over halfway, five metres in fact. Game went a bit flat there, but uh, here's Trent Walker. Trent Walker runs across field, fends off one, fends off another. Still looking to unload Trent Walker, and he's tackled right on the 40-metre line of Scones. 
about 22 metres in from touch. It's the last tackle. Ball comes down this left-hand side. Stevie Dengate, high bomb. Who's under it? Riley Pennell, plenty of pressure. He takes it cleanly. He's belted by Hudson Price. They're going to try and force him back into the end goal. But he, they pull him up one metre shy. Ball goes there, goes down to Jackson Smith. He comes under a high shot, but for mine, it was around the, uh, the top part of the chest. Good tackle. Wicks at dummy half. Goes on to Caleb Taylor, and Caleb Taylor's belted. Rams all over him at the moment in defence. They need to force an error. 34 to 26. Here's Scott McIntyre. Goes forward and he's built it again. Good tackle. Grecian, Walker, Gideon Onk gets up and plays the ball. 22 metres out. Scone struggling to get out of their own red zone. Here's Blake Andrews. Gets up just shy of the, the 30 metre line. That's the fifth already. Really good set of defence so far. Juna Warden with the ball. Kicks it from his own 30. It's going to bounce. Is it going to bounce backwards? It bounce across field. It boots Butto the first attempt, but he picks it up on the first bounce, and he's tackled there. Good chase from the Scone boys. That was Blake Andrews that tackled Butto, 30 out from his own line. Here's Kane Cabillo. He gets the ball, 35 out from his own line, tackled centre field. Stevie Dengate gets it onto to Cridlin. Cridlin goes forward and he's hit hard and a really good tackle there by Blake Andrews and Ritter over the top. Five shy of halfway. Dengate at dummy half. Comes down this left uh, right left hand side onto Walker who gets up over halfway. They try and push him back. That went a bit high for mine. But he, un he dropped it in the tackle, and that was a, uh, I think Harrison has said, yeah, it was a swinging arm, and they appealed it and got that way. So here's a repeat set for the Rams. You're going to take this uh, touch finder. No, he wasn't happy with that, Graham. He, he went, to the, uh, went too fast, Stevie, so they want it back. Stevie Dengate finds touch, 32 metres out, 35 metres out, I should say, from the scone line. Cubillo with the tap, restart, gives it on to Lukey Marco. Marco gets the ball, goes across field, yeah. beats one. <clears throat> He's tackled 28 metres out from the scone line. And there's another penalty. Something was said there. Scotty McIntyre, I think, said something there to the referee. Not happy about it, so they've copped it. A little bit of discipline falling down there on the Scones' behalf. So here's the Rams with another repeat set. Tap restart from Paulie Dengate. Gets it on to Trent Walker. They're inside the 20. Centre field. Dengate, he's got options left and right. He always looks to his brother. They come down this left-hand side. Stevie, short pass to uh, Luke Marco. Luke Marco gets it on to Button. Button gets the ball and another penalty. And it goes to... There's some oh, punches why? thrown. Why? Why? And they are all come in, and that's on Scotty McIntyre. Did he hit him after the uh, pass was thrown, Wade? I think he's upended, but they weren't. He picked him up? Weren't happy with it, I think, the boys. Was that Stevie that unloaded that pass? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Time out? I reckon Scott McIntyre, someone will find themselves in the bin here. I think it'll be our boys. No, I don't know about that, mate. Hit after he passed it, so yeah, he won't be happy with that, and that... A little bit of a melee there. 34 to 26. We've got just under 16 minutes to go in this game. And as I said, it can still go either way. Warren Yates is going off. And the digger one, BC Collins, is going on. We'll probably get a penalty. Oh, they're going to be... No, nah. I think I think they'll cop... They, well, the original penalty went to the Rams, Wado. Oh, true. The original penalty went to the Rams. What's uh, the referee going to do? He's going to call somebody out, surely. Yep, he does. Scotty McIntyre. I told you, I reckon he'll find himself 10 minutes in the bin here, mate. He's called Adam Clydesdale over, and I don't think Harrison Toy. I told you. Yep. Yeah, but yeah he did. It just hit him after the tackle. Yeah, but I think our boys come in and come in, I think. Someone uh, is calling someone over. Yeah, Paul. Paulie Dengate. He'd be in the bin too. Yeah, he's in the bin. So Paulie Dengate's going to find himself in the bin. He's still talking. So a player from each side has, is off. They'll be back on with five or just under six minutes to go. But the uh, original penalty went to the Rams, and they'll get this penalty. They'll be about 11 metres out from the Scone line. 
Pressure's on both sides here, especially Scone. They haven't been pushed like this all season. Trent Walker on to BC Collins, and Collins goes forward, and he's tackled about five metres out from the Scone line, directly under the post. Hudson Price out the back to Button. Button short pass on to Marco, and he's hitting a good tackle by Caleb Taylor. Still eight metres out, Price at dummy half. Bit slow, on to Gideon Oink, and he gets the ball, and he's tackled three metres out from the Scone line. Defence has to be on here. Price at dummy half. Long pass out to Walker. Out the back to uh, Stevie Dengate. Gets off his right. Beats one, beats two. Sloppy pass, but it goes to Button. Button gets the ball. Tries to unload. No, he doesn't. He's tackled out there by Jared Austin. Eight metres out. Creeps forward. Price at dummy half. On to Trent Walker. Trent Walker's looking for... Uh, goes sideways and sneak over. Millimetres shy of the line. Short pass out the back. It's knocked down. I think it had to be two by Blake Johnston. If it would have found the winger, Talagatis, he was over in the corner. Restart. Set of six here for the Rams. Going to restart it here. Big digger one's going to play the ball. 20 in from touch, 10 metres out. Ball goes to Grecian. Grecian goes forward like he has all day around the legs with Ritter. Over the top, Clyde. Price at dummy half, out the back to Stevie Dengate. Looking for runners, jinx off his left, jinx off his right. And he's tackled, he's monstered there. Five metres out, the Rams. Price at dummy half. Gets the ball out to Walker. Walker, dummies one way. He's still looking to unload. That he does to Button. They've got room out there. Go, go, Here's Maxi Grushin. Maxi Grushin charges to the line, he's tackled. Not held, is he going to pull over? I think he's put it down. Very interesting last 13 minutes here. 34 to 30. Kick to come. Well, they just stayed off him. I did a Had little spiders bit. spiders on him, Maxi Grishin. <laughs> I thought he should have passed it, but to himself and he's got the chockies there. <laughs> Max is not known for his passing, I don't think, is he? <laughs> I haven't seen too much pass it. I tried to pass it earlier, though. He just thought again and said, I'll just hold on this one. This is going to go down to the wire, 34 to 30, kick to come. Stevie Dengate's going to try and attempt this. He's about 25 out, 10 in from touch. What a game. What a great game. Both sides been absolutely solid. Yeah, there's a couple of turnovers here and there, but it happens every single game. But uh, what a great game this has been, back and forwards. That duo, uh, Macca, that duo of uh, Trent Walker and Maxi Grushin has been so solid. It has been really strong. Hasn't it, what? That right-hand side of the field there. And, uh, I mean, Trent Walker, he works both sides of the ruck anyway, but he's just uh, he's just a machine. He's Stevie Dengate, very important kick. We're going to have about... We've got 12 and a half to go. He lines up, he puts it over, yes. just waved it away. We might have a draw here, 34 all. Wouldn't that be one for the books? <laughs> Wins better. So Scone, Jackson Smith with the restart. Here it is, 12 minutes to go in this round 13. Bengala Group 21 clash. Uh, ball goes centre field and Butto traps it with his feet. 15 out from his own line. Centre field, here's Walker again in his... Jeez, how many hit-ups has he had, Wade? He's, he's had everything. No. Hope he's all right. Um. Here's Stevie Dengo to dummy half. Long pass out to Price. Price turns it inside to BC, digger one. He gets up 31 metres out from his own line. Blake Andrews down there takes him. Stevie Dengate, short pass to Walker. Walker, short oh. pass to Marco, and he coughs it up. Ritter falls on the ball, and he's turnover to Scone. What are they? 35 out, 12 in from touch. Ball goes to Dylan Keen, and Keen gets the ball. Charges straight forward. Uh, good tackle around the legs from BC. Gets up and plays the ball. Short pass on to Blake Andrews. Andrews goes forward again. They're keeping it simple. They don't need another turnover in this position. Clydesdale out to the right-hand side to Wicks. Wicks dummies, goes himself, pushes off one, pushes off another, and he's tackled there. Didn't make too much ground, though. 
Dummy half Keen. Ball, short pass onto Blake Andrews. He gets belted. He unloads in traffic onto Clydesdale. Clydesdale out to Ritter. Ritter dummies, but he's hit there by Grecian and also uh, Hudson Price. There you go, right. There you go, right. They're short on the left, the Rams in defence. Juno Warden out the back to Riley Pennell into the corner. On to Blake Johnston. Over. Scove hit back. Had to be made, Wade. Definitely did, but... Another turnover, mate. In, you know, really good field position. And it's been the story so far. Really been the story so far. Both sides have capitalised. We've had, uh, you know, it'll be... If he kicks this, it's 38 points to 30. Ten minutes to go. And nearly every try has been off a turnover, hasn't it? A really, you know, cheap turnover in saying that, Wade. <laughs> You're doing well, big fella. You're doing well. I can see Payne standing up down there on the sideline. Um, who else is off? Sam Fechner's off for the Scone boys. Um, Sam's had a great game as well while he was out there. That yeah, was that. Strong. Sorry, mate. Yeah, he's always strong. He is always strong, isn't he? And Scone, they kept that set of six uh, simple. Just, you know, couple up, bang, bang, just trying to get field position, then just uh, light the gas, and they did it out wide, very quick out there with um, the likes of uh, Rosa, Caleb Taylor, and Blake Johnson in the corner. Juna Warden, I think, started it. Here's Jackson Smith. Meter in from touch, flat kick, goes across the face. So what do we got? 38 points to 30. We've got under nine minutes to go here in this round 13. Group 21 Bengala clash. Pies and sausage rolls now half price at the campaign. I'm going down for a pies and sausage roll. Yeah, I was just seen it was half price. I, I know you're as tight as a fish's ass. You get down there and get a half price sausage roll, Wade. Eh? Ball off the kick restart. Goes down to uh, Caleb Taylor. He gets the ball, falls down, but he gets up on his feet, finds his feet again. He gets out to the 20 already. They're looking for a one-on-one -on -one strip. Hudson Price nearly got it. He's up over the 20, 12 in from touch. Ball goes on to uh, number 17, Dylan Keane. He's hitting a really good tackle there by uh, Gideon. Ball goes from Clydesdale on to Blake Andrews. They're up over the 30, 35 metres, in fact, and he's hitting another good tackle. Talagardis is in there with Nathan Cridlin. Gets up and plays it. Johnson, Clydesdale gets it out to Warden. Short pass. It looked a little bit forward to Jaron Austin, but he held onto it. He's up over his 40. 20 in from touch. Out the back, Clydesdale to Jared Wicks. Wicks, he puts it in. It's going to go straight to QB. He won't have any trouble catching that. He gets it on his own 20, and he runs forward, and he's hit by Jackson Smith and Caleb Taylor. 30 out from his own line, 10 in from touch. Dengate at dummy half. On to Butto. Butto goes forward, and QB and Caleb Taylor just having a little bit of a push and shove there. There's nothing in that. Oh. Play on. There's nothing in it. Told you. Butto gets the ball, plays it, restart. On to uh, Gideon, and he's hitting a really good front-on tackle from Blake, jo uh, Blake Andrews, and it was a little bit high from him and Clyde. Referee Graham says it was around the throat. He gets up and bounces up, so there's that repeat set. Really good field position here. Stevie Dengate kicks the ball into touch, and they're going to be 30 out from the scone line. Cubillo. Restart, 10 in, on to Walker. The machine runs forward, as he always does, and he's tackled there. It'll be 20 metres out by the time he plays it. Dengate at dummy half. On to uh, Price, gets it on to Gideon. He's hit flat, straight, cut in half there. Really good tackle from uh, Clyde. Stevie Dengate, dummy half, out to uh, Trent Walker. Short pass on to Luke Marco, nearly find the gap. He's three metres shy, 10 in from touch. Quick play the ball on to Trent Walker. Can he get over? Held up. Great tackle from Riley Pennell. Stevie Dingate bounces out. Long pass to Button. Button looks to chip. He does so. But it goes into the waiting arms of Blake Johnson. He comes across field before he's hammered there by uh, Butto, the guy who kicked it three metres out from the scone line. 
Maybe that wasn't the best option from Bardo uh, Wado. Nah. Should have went through hands, you think? Yeah. Here's Jared Wicks from Dummy Half. He gets to the 20. Hudson Price wraps him up. He's had a great game, Hudson Price. In the thick of the action. Out the back there to... Uh... Oh, that's lost ball. That was uh, Blake Johnston. Are you, oh, he's no, he's, a, he's lost it in the tackle. It was a, I thought it was a one-on-one -on -one strip attempt, but uh, well done. So the Rams will have possession here. Five and a half minutes to go, 38 points to 30. Rams with a crucial turnover. They'll be centre field and they'll be 26 metres out to scrum feed. Knocked it on, he said. Can they find something? Can they find something here? The last five minutes. I can actually go short side. Both sides have got 13 again. Paulie Dengate's on from the scrum base to Button onto Cridlin. Cridlin goes across field, looks for a gap, and he's tackled there. It had to be made. I thought he was going to unload, but he didn't. Dengate at dummy half onto uh, Yates. Yates is back on, chopped in half inside the 10, 20 in from touch. Then gate at dummy half over to Walker. Walker, long pass out to Price. Price, equally long pass to Dengate. Over to Kane Cabello. Comes into Jackson Smith and he's tackled there as well. That had to be made. Three metres, two metres shy of the line. Dengate over to uh, Price. Price jinks off his right. Steps uh, there back into the waiting arms, arms of Andrews. Dengate, dummy half, long pass over to Trent Walker. Equally long pass again to Stuvi Dengate. He eludes one, gives it on to Button. Short pass to Cridlin. Cridlin's over in the corner there. He's about five metres out. He unloads to Talagardis, who comes back in field. And he's tackled three metres out from the uh, scone line. It's the last tackle. Chip and a chase. Short pass over there from Dengate to Cridlin, who unloads to Button into the corner, who scores! 38 points to 34. Settle down, Macca. <laughs> Four minutes to go. Jumped out of dummy half, Paulie Dengate. Give it to Cridlin. Um, one Jacob, Jacob Button, Button scored, yeah. Jacob Button. Really good hands from Nathan Cridlin. He's found an extra leg too, Crito. Yes. I don't think they thought, I don't think the Scone Thoroughbreds thought they were going to go back down that right-hand side. They only had about three metres to work with. No. They surprised everyone, jumped out, bang, bang. They would have done it themselves. I've seen a few times they on the short side all the time in school. So. They do, and Cridlin, uh, here's the conversion attempt. It's waved away, 38 points to 34. Three minutes to go in this match. It is a hell of a good match. It's back and forth. How good is it? Okay. Scone won't be racing this kick unless <laughs> they're taking their time, the thoroughbreds. Musselbrook have stamped themselves this afternoon as a real contender. There is no question about it. And to think this team is still two points behind the fourth position Aberdeen side. I think they've finally got their combination right. Collins. Of the kick restart, straight down to digger one, Collins. Collins gets the ball, charges through. Well done, BC. 23 metres out, a couple in from touch of his own line. Ball goes long on to Cridlin again. Had another solid game, Nathan Cridlin. That crucial pass over there in the corner to Butto, who scored there, was fantastic. Ball goes to Walker, and he's upteenth, upteenth. He'd be into nearly 20-odd uh, hit-ups, wouldn't he? I think so, yes. Here's Dengate at dummy half onto Yates. Yates goes forward into the scone defensive line. He's tackled on his own yeah, 40 right. yeah, centre right. field. Plenty of options. They've got to go right. Walker, they do so. Long pass out to Stevie Dengate. Stevie Dengate dancing around. Boots one, boots two. No, he doesn't beat Clydesdale, but he still unloads to BC Collins, who's tackled on the halfway line. Last tackle it is. Little chip over the top here, I reckon. Dengate goes from dummy half himself. Little chip it does. It goes into the waiting arms of Blake Johnson, who gets the ball, runs across field. But they try to tackle him. No, they do, yes. Good chase from Paulie Dengate and also uh, Lukey Marco. Ball goes here to Caleb Taylor. They do not want a turnaround now. There's a minute and a half to go. 38 points to 34. 30 metres out from their own line. Ball goes to Scott McIntyre. Tackled just shy of his own 40. Centre field again. Riley Penell at dummy half. Ball goes there. 
just tackled the Scone boys, tackled right on the halfway line. Here's uh, Riley Pennell, boots one, goes in behind the ruck, goes across field. He wants to stay into touch, gives it on to Blake Johnson who goes back in field. Smart move, they're inside the last minute of play, 38 to 34. Last tackle for the Scone Thoroughbreds, taking their time to play the ball. Out the back to Jared Wicks, puts a high bomb up. It's going to come down, who's under it? Nobody. Goes forward, did that go forward? Yes, it did. Off the Scone boys. They're going to have one last crack if they pack this scrum very, very quickly. It's a penalty. I wasn't watching that. I was looking at the scoreboard for the time. Stevie Dengate with the uh, touch finder. It's going to go hard and it's going to go forward. What a great touch finder. They're going to be uh, inside the Scone 30, 28 metres out from the line. We've got 20 seconds. Stevie Dengate with the quick tap. Goes forward and he's inside the 20. 15 in from touch. Marco at dummy half, on to Button, Button long pass to a Price, Price on to Walker, Walker short pass to Cridland, goes across field, is he tackled there, they hunted him, right across okay. three seconds, he Lost needs to ball. get up and play the ball quickly, did he lose it in the tackle way though? He has, there's the full time sign, what a game we've had, 38 points to 34, don't take them headphones off yet Macca, that has been the game of the season. It's a very good game, very... Well, for me watching, but um, hard. But the boys should be proud of themselves. So, you know, moving forward, got a couple, couple of weeks left to go. So hopefully they just what take some, game. some momentum out of this. Fantastic game of Stay football. Right Thanks, out. Wade Stay McKenzie, right. for your uh, co-commentator today. Really appreciate it, mate. A big thanks to Elise and Chick Taylor on the video. What a game we've had. 38 points to 34. It was a fantastic. There's no game. There's no question it was the game of the season. Numerous, numerous players to pick from, and uh, I'm sure we'll talk about that down the track as we speak. But uh, a, a game in which Adam Grew and Chad Jusen, the coaches of Muscle, will be very, very proud of those uh, boys. Um, I think Scone, this is a big wake up call for Scone with only two weeks to go before the semi finals, Wade. And uh, man, what a game! <laughs> Yeah, I think the boys will be... I think it's going to be all right. I, you know, one of them games, I guess. But I think they'll go in yeah. forward and that. They'll regroup it well. Yeah, I, I know I spoke to Isaac Austin before the, uh, yeah, the game started and he looked disappointed that he couldn't make it today. But both sides got numerous players out and uh, great game and a big... Uh, both, both sides very, very uh, exciting to watch. They made the game uh, their own and... Uh, a big thank you to everyone there. That's it for the uh, round 13 clash. 38 points to 34 here in favour of Scone uh, in this Ben Gallart Group 21 uh, round 13 clash. We will see you uh, next week.